What's up, everybody? I'm Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, that spider thing wasn't there. Um, we left off in the last episode, neither was that one. We um, managed to get pretty much everything we needed to now explore this new area here. Oh, they're looking at me. Oh, boy. Back off! That's just gonna make him angry. <laughs> but anyway, oops, at least they uh, are leaving me alone for a minute. So we got the tablet for here in the last episode, which we're gonna use today. Like I said, I kind of wanted this episode to be pretty much the entire thing. So there's that. Um. Oh. So we are here now. And I'm trying to take everyone's advice and scan everything. Also, I guess getting in here didn't really help all that much. Uh, because I was thinking when I was drowning the last time I was here, oh, if I could just get the door open. And it turns out, um, yeah, I'm still underwater. So that didn't really help. Alright. Alien research equipment. Ooh. Can I build it? Creature egg, definitely grabbing that. Uh, we came here with a full, or uh, empty inventory, rather. Ooh! Stuff and things. Reproductive. Ooh! Ion cubes. Thank you very much. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say that that's a map of the facility or something. Or the map of the network of facilities. sound. Oh, maybe it was those pedestals going down. Um, okay. Okay, okay. So, that uh, was not as expansive of a <laughs> facility as I expected. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you can bring this in here. Cool. Wasn't sure. Um, I was thinking this is a door. But it's kind of looking like it's not a door. Scanned everything in here. Alright, let's check and see if maybe the data thing... What is this? Unidentified creature. Um, I did get a few blueprints on my way over here. Uh, off camera, obviously. Um, wait, how did I get these? I don't remember getting these. Unless that was something I unlocked by getting something else. But we did get the prawn suit drill arm. Which actually isn't that bad. It's lithium, diamond, and titanium. We have all access to all of those materials. Um, Cyclops fire suppression system, which I've yet to run across crystalline sulfur, but um, that would probably be a good thing to have. And we got the nuclear reactor. Not that it's crazy a big deal at the moment, uh, because I've only run into a little bit of uranium, don't have a whole lot, and don't feel like I'm in a position where I can really farm it. Uh, what else am I missing? I've got two other little blips here. Oh, just some new types of fish that I caught and cooked, I guess. Oh, reactor rod. Okay, uranium... Er, this is another one of those words, just like polyanoline, which I found out I was saying wrong. Probably saying this wrong, but uraninite? Is how I'm gonna say that, since you have uranium? Uranium? Uraninite? Ur that just sounds weird. Uraninite. I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Um, this was actually <laughs> pretty funny. Um, I was around the area here, and it came up with that, and it said, Detecting multiple Leviathan-class lifeforms in the region. Are you sure whatever you're doing is worth it? Which is funny. This one didn't actually come up with anything weird. Um, indigenous lifeforms. Deceased. Mixed Leviathan fossils. These fossils likely came from the ancient ancestors of the Leviathans which inhabit the planet today. The relative size and delicacy of the bones suggest they formed part of the ear canal or some other complex internal structures. That's a bone from an inner ear? I don't ever want to meet one of those things, which we probably already have. Uh, I'm gonna say um, um, a moeboid? Not sure. 
a simple, non-sentient organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. It feeds on this matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to create two new genetically identical offspring, and the cycle continues. I wonder if I can get a sample of those. I sound like a scientist. I can't grab it. Nope. Worth a shot. Okay. So that's the indigenous life form. Where... I did pick up this public document, join Altera's board of directors, um, from one of the uh, wrecks I was ex uh, scavenging. It's not about money, that's what every director on Altera's board has told me, and I believe them. Profitability is just an interim measure of success. Power and status are the real goals. Make enough profit for Altera Corporation, and you'll be recognized by the most powerful business people in the universe. Establish a company that obliterates the competition, and after compulsory buyout, you can be promoted to the board of directors. <laughs> Perks include travel for use of company phase gates. That sounds fun. Entourage, personal assistance, longevity, automatic organ replacement. Altera, get what you deserve. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, alien scan data and flora. Local plants being held in stasis, the aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem, which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. A large laboratory table and accompanying scanners incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding hypotheses, equipment maintenance, staff maintenance, specimen analysis, specimen gene manipulation. Ooh, gene manipulation! That sounds fun. Fauna reproductive data. Extensive alien research data on the local fauna with a special focus on their reproductive methods. Core conclusions have been synthesized. The aliens discover the life forms on the planet have just one sex. They observed local organisms engage in, in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually re required genetic materials from another of the species. In rare cases, only one parent was required with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. I wonder why. I wonder what it was they were trying to find by figuring out how they reproduce. Now, um, we could go back to the ship, but this kind of seems like one entry point for... Did I already scan this stuff? I wonder. Uh, but it kind of seems like one entry point for this area, so I'm almost wondering if we should poke around a little bit more before we head back. See if there's anything else interesting. Maybe if we can follow, like, some pipes? Oh, I didn't scan it. Research pods. Okay. Ancient skeleton. You would think a bone skeleton as huge as this one I would have thought to scan the last time I was here. I was drowning in my defense, but still. Inexcusable. Okay. So that's some new data. Let's check what that is. Let's get back into our portable breathing pod here. Uh, research probes. The prominence and f facing of these alien devices suggest they are some kind of probe or sensor. Their subject would seem to be the vast skeleton in the center of the cave. Oh, really? Whoa, what the? Okay, so that's what they do. Set off like a shockwave. What I have to say about that. Interrupted my reading. Uh, center of the cavern. The attached cable network may lead to a, a remote power station or data hub. I think that's what we're going to try and find. Indigenous life forms. Ancient fossilized skeleton. The skeleton of a million year old armored carnivore. Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Basically, everything was probably bigger back then. Much like, I don't know, I guess Ice Age, where you had dire wolves and woolly mammoths and whatnot, probably. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna pause it, because I don't know how interesting this is going to get. But if I see something interesting, I will come back. Otherwise, I will meet you guys back at the submarine. But I'm kind of liking their idea of trying to follow the power cables, if I can find any, 
and seeing if there might actually be another facility hidden deeper within. Um, it kind of looks like that goes that way, so we're going to track this way and see what we can find. Shh! Be very, very quiet. We're being hunted by leviathans. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to screenshot that. So, I think that's a leviathan anyway. Up there, which I'm kind of trying to avoid. I'm hiding in um, this jaw, I guess. I wonder if I can actually scan this. So there's a couple things I want to do. See if I can scan this and repair my sea moth. Oh, I can scan it. Cool. Um, so... No, 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 negative, ne did he just push this in the, all right, we're, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving, I don't think I can outrun that thing, but we're gonna try, I don't know what that is, I don't know what that is, there's a whole lot of scary crap down here, I hate the ocean, uh, <laughs> I gotta find a place to repair, holy crap. So, I actually went the opposite direction that I started to go in when I last left off. Uh, where I started from, I ended up going back into that weird bluish area with the floating orbs that kind of have like um, rope type vines attached to the bottom of them or whatever. Um, and that kind of took me back to the Degasi area, which we were at last time, so I was like, well, that's not really where I wanted to go. Um, so I ended up going the other way and ended up down here, which obviously is more of the actual biome of what I think they called the Boneyard or something. Um, I'm a little concerned about being this far down, though, in a sea moth. Oh, we do have another facility. Or traces of facility, anyway. I'd like to scan this guy. Uh, the reason being that the Cyclops has shields now and other stuff, and the Sea Moth is just a little squishy. Though, it's maneuverable. And why I'm trying to repair the skeleton, I have no idea. Ow! Are we at that point where I can't get out without the heat hurt me, or did I run into the... this stuff? I can't figure out, is it depth? No, it's gotta be this stuff. Yeah, okay. Or at least that uh, volcanic thing is heating up the temperature around that area, maybe. Okay, so we got that scan. We've got a couple pillars over here which shows signs of a facility. Let's see what we can find if we follow the pillars. Acting as some very nice guidelines. Ooh, okay. This has seen better days. It look. Well, okay. Just decide to load. Why don't we? Um. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Oh, like it's not supposed to be this far down. Well, that's lovely. No, oh, can't scan it. Hopefully, this doesn't require another orange tablet because I'm fresh out. I do have a purple one on board the Cyclops, but man, I'd have to go all the way back there, which would stink. I hear warpers around. I'm trying to keep moving, so they Detecting can't warp me. An alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads: Caution. Hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Oh, lovely! The aliens that quarantined your planet that you're on have told you there's crap in here you don't want to mess with. Lovely. Just. Anything. Okay, now for all of you that watch my Space Engineers series, particularly the Inspiration series, you know that I am door challenged. Um, or, uh, I still haven't. There was a couple suggestions which I liked, and I can't think of them off the top of my head of a more clinical name that I thought would be funny, but, um, yeah. So, uh, this facility is here, but how do we get in? Maybe that? Nope. Oh! Buzz off. Ew! He's creepy! Ugh! It had too many, like, tendrils and arms and- Ah! Here we go. Found it! 
All right. Well, it wasn't the exact facility, but I am probably going to have an episode dedicated to a facility at least. This looks similar to that other one, only they almost. Interior they're... walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Oh, lovely. Jane, th thank you for that um, vote of confidence purple. I should have brought it with me. I should have brought it with me. I could have even stored it in the um, in the sea moth. Wouldn't have even had to. I was thinking I would have had to keep it in my inventory and I wouldn't. <sighs> May have to go all the way back. Which is gonna suck because it was hard to get here. <laughs> I'm thinking we'll explore kind of as much as we can without the tablet. And then go from there if I have to, if we have time. Though if this facility is huge, it could turn into a part one, part two, I suppose. Ray specimens. What are you? Oh, really? I was gonna say, you were not gonna let me scan something? Rip cages. I'm not super scan happy, nor see there's that symbol again. It makes me think that this is like a map. Um. Oh, and I brought my flashlight this time. So my flashlight. Bleh, I can't talk. So. There we go. <laughs> I am I am all prepared. Can I not get this? I don't think. Maybe. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> There's a well, there's a way. Well, that's a comforting sound. I don't know about the rest of you. Oh, I remember this from the alpha or the pre, whatever early access version. Damage report. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, a little bit of lag there. Damage report. Leviathan detected facility perimeter closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling facility sinking. Collision with seafloor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Lovely. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimen destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. So, uh, well, that pretty much explains how the quarantine thing got started. Um, deceased. I'm actually going to leave these for now because I don't think they're super relevant at the moment. Uh, race species. Uh, seed dragon egg. Okay, that's a lot of information that I don't feel like reading right now. Sea dragon egg. This large egg is held in hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation process to what end is unclear. I'm guessing this is the sea dragon. Could be wrong, but we'll see. What is that? Residual like... biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. What is that? What was that called? Bio something material? Ooh. Another data, data down. pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Well, that's handy. That's an easy way to scan a warper. <laughs> okay. What about you guys? Anything? Anything? Nothing? Boo. Okay. I was kind of hoping that I could find a tablet laying around here somewhere, but not so lucky. Um, let's go ahead and do a self-scan since she recommended it. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has Welcome spread to the skin Captain. and pulmonary system. Oh, good. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh, lovely. Yeah, great. Why can't I pull up my... Oh, because I 
cutscene things are happening. Because I was like, why can't I pull up my tablet? Uh, bacterial infection rapport. You've been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimated incubation period. Two weeks! <laughs> Two weeks, you in incubation. Are you symptomatic? <laughs> the irony, sorry, the irony, though, of a two-week incubation period is funny to me. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. Your immune system is currently combating the infection at a low F... Efficacy? I think that's how you say that word. You may already be experiencing the flu-like symptoms. <laughs> this one at least has skin irritation, so it's a little different. <laughs> uh, these will be likely exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Your imminent priority should be ab abatement. Okay. An eradication of the infection. Recommended steps. Salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms with uh, which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the systems of the infection, symptoms of the infection. Okay. 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 Unfortunately, we would probably get a little bit more information if we can access that one room. I'm probably going to have to run back up to the Cyclops, but man, it's such a long way back. Ugh. But it seems like everything else is kind of dead-ended in this room. Ooh, Ion Cube I missed. Nice. Uh, did I end up reading? I didn't read that other alien data. Let's read that real quick. And then I'll probably pause it and uh, head back to the Cyclops, dump off resupply, and um, then come back down here after making some repairs and whatnot too. I don't think there's anything in there. I don't think there's really anything else other than that force field room. Which honestly kind of sucks because it doesn't even really give us anywhere to go. It's just more data, which we probably need. So that's what kind of stinks. Uh, contagion profile. First encounter... Oh, okay. So this terminal contains excessive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Kahara. That's how I'm going to say that. Uh, first encounter during routine network expansion on an outer on outer worlds. Pandemic development network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to... I'll get to it in a minute. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core world's confirmed deaths of 143 billion individuals, so mildly higher mortality rate than um, the current pandemic. <laughs> Bacterial mechanisms attaches to a healthy living cell and mutates the basic genetic structure. Ugh, that sucks. Gradual immune system failure green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms, unpredictable alterations to biological structure, complete shutdown of ex executive function. Emergency sepsis in core worlds quarantine, bacterial samples distributed to isolate disease research facilities for vaccine development, treatment procedure unknown. Well, that's lovely. So even the aliens didn't figure out how to treat this apparently. Awesome. Self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. Oh, it's one of them. The life form shows high are shown signs of high genetic heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. It is its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and triggered by central nervous system allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented and advanced processing power and remote communications. Assessment programmable hunter killer avoid. So are the warpers then part of the original alien race? The organic parts on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms, largely originating off world. They are in varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies. This production line setup suggests these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility. That I did not know. That's pretty cool. I was not aware that they were created by the aliens. 
Vital signs. There. You happy? Okay, so I'm gonna head back up to um, the seam, uh, the Cyclops, and uh, see if I can get that other key. Okay, so we are back in the facility again, and I should, if everything went correctly, have the tablet with me. I do. Yay. I was gonna say, I was like, I did pick it up, right? And that should let this down. Specimen research data. Alright, let's see what was worth coming all the way back here for. Assuming it was. Uh, terminal data, specimen research data. A catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the facility, or the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. Uh, this entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptoms remission on exposure to enzyme 42. Uh, but symptoms quickly recur. Shows advanced learning behaviors. Shows some capacity to transmit enzyme to other species. Leviathan embryos. Adult specimens too large to study in containment. Um, egg specimens acquired from nesting site. Embryos shown as hunt. Yada yada yada, large carnivore theta, off-site lab established to study remains. Oh, that's probably uh, one of the other facilities, maybe? Unidentified leviathan, this leviathan species has been assigned designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kahara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometer. Ooh, okay, that must have been the one in the early access version, I'm guessing. While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not exactly sure how I want to proceed here. Um, I did get another message, uh, which maybe we will do next time because we're already pretty low on time and I have to make it back. So I think what I'm going to do is cut the episode here and then next episode we'll start with the radio message that we received and see what it says or does um if it's just one of the alien things or something it may not be anything we can do if it's some other life pod or message or something it may start another event i got a uh, a message that we got a transmission pretty much when i entered this area so i'm guessing it's something kind of significant as far as like if you're here then it triggered that event kind of thing um, so I definitely want to investigate it, but, uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to head back to the Cyclops and wrap things up. The, uh, one thing I wanted to say before we ended, oh, that's a weird little, looks like a badminton bird. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up before we wrap this up is... Um, I do have to apologize for the release of the last episode, or rather the episode prior to last publicly on YouTube, um, <laughs> because I all of a sudden remembered Saturday night, I was like, oh crap, I need to upload, or I need to release the episode, I already had it uploaded and everything. Um, and so then I posted it on Patreon and... Um, my YouTube page and Facebook and all that kind of stuff that, hey, the episode's live, and then I went and forgot to actually uh, set it to public. I forgot to actually add it to the uh, public and set it to the playlist and whatnot. Um, so I do have to apologize for that. Normally I'm pretty on top of things, but it just happened to slip my mind. We had some stuff going on at the time and I forgot all about it. Um, so with that, just wanted to let everyone know that I'm back on top of things and you should be seeing things the way that they're supposed to come out as usual. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm just going to head back to the Cyclops and then um, next episode we'll come back uh, to the base and start with whatever that transmission is. So in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I will see you all next time. Peace.